I'm Ron Gorham. I'm Head of Supply Chain Optimization for the NDA and I'm also the SME Champion for the NDA. My role is to look after our relationship with the supply chain, not surprisingly, um, and to ensure that over the coming decades we do everything we can to make sure that uh, we use the supply chain in the best way, that they can be successful and in doing so help us be successful as well. This is the third evolution of our strategy um, and what is clear is that there's still an awful lot more to do in the coming strategy. There are a couple of uh, very subtle aspects uh, associated with the new document. Um, one of the key uh, changes is that we, have for the very first time, aspired to be the nuclear um, client of choice. Um, that's not intended to be an arrogant statement but it is intended to reflect that actually uh, that £1.8 billion spend that our site licence companies has isn't in itself enough to create the kind of relationships that we and our site licence companies aspire to have with supply chain. So we want to be seen uh, very positively by the supply chain as an organisation, as a client that they want to do business with, that they see uh, predictable opportunities in, uh, in the future they see a reasonable expectation of being able to be successful, not on every tender and not on every contract, but it needs to be an environment and a relationship where those companies can grow and be successful. Importantly for us, it's also the first time that we've actually declared that we have a positive role in helping enable the supply chain to be successful. Um, this is not a one-way relationship. We do need to do things to improve our own internal processes to make that consistency of uh, experience uh, more transferable and that companies know and understand what it takes to be successful. So that's a key aspect for us going forward. If you were to ask me what single word I might use to encompass our document that we've, uh, we've developed, it's efficiency. And for us that means that we need to continue to deliver those efficiencies in terms of simplification of processes and predictability of outcomes um, and work on being seen uh, as a genuine estate so that the experience is consistent. So that's our side of the bargain. We need to continue to challenge ourselves and be prepared to be challenged to do things differently. Um, and as part of that, I think that's the kind of commitment that the NDA estate needs to make. But equally, we need to make the same challenge to our supply chain, which is to bring forward those um, improvements, different ways of working, um, which improve the predictability of outcomes, the value and affordability, and that's particularly important as we go into a continued spending issue across government, but also ensure that how they behave uh, engenders uh, safety, security, and the environment as an integral part of the way they work. I'm Stephen Sanders, I'm the Business Development Director for Oxford Technologies, although I like to say I'm an engineer as well, as are all the people and managers in the company. We are a remote handling specialist and that's pretty much all we do, although for us there's a lot of depth there, particularly in the three main markets that we operate, nuclear decommissioning, nuclear fusion and high energy physics, and we fundamentally solve people's problems, particularly really challenging problems. If it's simple problems, we tend to let it go elsewhere, we do the difficult stuff. I think one of the things that the NDA helps us with and can help us in future, a company like ours, is allowing us to access the stakeholders to understand what the issues are, so that when we come to produce bids, then we have a better grasp of understanding. And things like the NDA show, which is going to happen in November this year, that does help you get to understand the culture of the sort of organisations and how they are delivering. I'm Sam Dancy, I'm the Supply Chain Manager for the NDA. We in our SLCs have put in place initiatives to look at improving procurement processes and helping to support suppliers in our working in the NDA estate, particularly small and medium sized enterprises or SMEs. We've been listening to our suppliers at business events, workshops, seminars, or even via questionnaire, a one-to-one -one basis, and aim to respond to this feedback. We've introduced a range of measures looking at contract simplification, standardisation. We definitely think working with our suppliers is a two-way relationship. We need our suppliers to be um, affordable, innovative and reliable. 
and responsive to our requirements, but equally they need us to be good clients. We need to try and reduce bureaucracy in things that we do. We need to make our contracts simpler and easier to understand. We also need to listen to our suppliers if there's an issue and respond to that. There's definitely more to do. Uh, we've got so far, but more to do. We definitely want to encourage more suppliers into our market, but equally we want those suppliers to widen their horizons and look at other markets in the UK and also abroad. We have an annual supply chain event. We work very closely with our site licence companies and as part of the supply chain event, we use that to celebrate success of our suppliers with our annual supply chain awards and those are focused on innovation and collaboration. Part of the awards is to focus on SME innovation. We're in the Hangar 10 today at Harwell. Behind us is the Beppo storage block where Steve Vick, one of our SMEs, won an award for their innovative approach to providing foam filling into the storage block, allowing easier decommissioning. One of the specific things that we need to do and encourage as part of uh, the strategy uh, three consultation process is actually to encourage um, engagement around uh, the whole document, but also being very parochial for a minute, particularly for me, supply chain development strategy. So I've got one simple question, um, which is, what single action or activity um, could you recommend to us which would make the single largest impact upon the, new, the NDA estate being seen as the client of choice? We're very keen to have your ideas and we'll take all of those extremely seriously.